Denny's remixed three old Atari games and gave them cutesy food names like Hashteroids. I really, really hope they don't announce a Frogger Legs Grand Slam later this year. They're building a levitating monorail in Israel, and already magicians around the world are trying to figure out how it's done. And the makers of Sugru are showing off a Gatling gun water pistol, making me very excited for the next time someone knocks on my door and tries to sell me something. Knock, knock. 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 It's Tomorrow Daily. Hello, denizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, your favorite technology show in the entire known universe. But maybe not the unknown universe. I'm your host, Ashley Scatha. Joining me as always, Rich Demiro. How's it going, Rich? It's going great. Going knock, knock. So people, you don't want to come to your house. No. Unannounced. Don't go to Ashley's house don't try to unannounced. S- Listen, you come over unannounced. That's fine. Just don't try to sell me something. Like Girl Scouts? No. Really? I don't want... Oh, okay, maybe I'll sad. buy some cookies. Come but on, those then... are so good. After I buy the cookies, then I will shoo them away with this Gatling gun water ma- water pistol. Water machine gun? I guess it's a Whatever water machine gun. Whatever it is, gun. it is high powered. That is true. Uh, but we've got a lot to talk about, so let's hit the headlines. So a few members of the press this week received a press box from Denny's. Now, it's not something a tech Ooh, blogger yum. or a video gaming blogger might expect in the mail. Oh, I love Denny's in the mail. You oh, wait, do? Oh, Denny's it's delivered by, order? by mail? Mail oh, order Denny's? Well, okay. No. Uh, so they got this box from Denny's, and it had an Atari 2600 in it. That's cool. Kind of kind of cool. Is it? Did it work? That would catch my attention. That's all I'm saying. We did not receive said yeah. Denny's box. We're not cool enough for that. But other people did. And what Denny's is now doing is they have teamed up with Atari, and they are making modified, remixed versions of three Atari classics. And they've renamed them to be uh, very cutesy and, and food-based. So there's Hashteroids. You can see it's just like Asteroids, except you are a bottle of ketchup, and you are shooting ha- hash browns. And then there's Centipup, which is sort of like their you know, hush puppies. And that's sort of the joke there. And then they have Takeout, which is like Breakout, oh, but with I, breakfast That's the one food. I didn't play. That's the only one you didn't play. Oh my and gosh, and that looks like the most fun one. It's pretty cool. So I, it's kind of a neat way to sort of get people to download the Denny's app, of course, because that's where you have to go get it. But those are the games. I love how they've even made cartridge art, like old Atari cartridge art for it. This is smart. I think this was a good thing because it's like Denny's is like Americana. Atari yeah. is kind of associated with the 50s. OG and the, video gaming, the, the 50s. 50s. Get out. Get <laughs> out. Get out, Rich DeMiro. You well, don't know anything about video games. When I was growing up. Um, in the 50s. In the old days. Rich, in you the look 40s. great for 70 years old. <laughs> I, I'm turning 75. So I gotcha, for I gotcha, me. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess Denny's is more 50s. Atari more 80s. I actually... I never had the Atari box, I don't think. Like, I had a big Pong in our garage. Like, okay. the original, the original like, like, arcade the, machine. Yeah, the arcade okay. machine, um, which That's I used to, like, awesome. plug in. It was pretty cool. We, like, got it at, like, garage sellers or a neighbor, whatever it was. But I would, like, plug it in. My dad was like, don't plug it in, but I would. You're going to explode. But um, this is really fun. I downloaded this to my uh, Android phone. They really push you to the whole, like, Google Play yeah, thing. Yeah, share, share, yes. like, all. Oh, yeah, they want but all your information, You of can course. press cancel. I pre- pre- yeah. kept pressing cancel, and it, it still let me play. Um, but I want to now. I want to play the uh, the breakout one. That yeah, one you got to really play takeout. You got to play takeout. Take out. You got to play takeout. It says um, they're only available for a limited time. Yeah, they're gonna. It's a, it seems like it's gonna be a short time thing. I'm sure they'll have some other promotion that they have available. But kind of cool and uh, obviously a really good marketing ploy because we're talking about it. Yeah, and it got so me to play. Mission, and it's, mission accomplished. Get out the banners, Denny's. It's a game anyone can play. Yeah, it is a game anyone can play. So kind of cool. So good job, Denny's. Good job, Atari. Kind of, kind of feeds my nostalgia for the day. I, I like. I always like that when I get fed. Fed my nostalgia for well, the day. Okay. Good. Do you think this is better than the promotion they did with The Hobbit? Like, remember when they had like the... Oh, I like those Middle Earth breakfasts. Yeah, the Middle Earth. <laughs> Come on. I love Denny's. <laughs> All right. Next story uh, is... I. This is very interesting and kind of future tech. Israel is going to be testing a levitating monorail. Now, that sounds kind of insane. Awesome. And awesome. Uh, but it's... The, the theory behind this is almost like maglev trains, but upside down and also personalized. So there are these little tiny pods that you can fit, like I'm assuming maybe four or six people in. It look, yeah, it looked like a couple. Like yeah, or maybe two. Two, uh, yeah. But maybe four for like a family or six. Uh, so you would call one of these up with, uh, here's a, this concept is. art for it. That looks like it. four. Really cool. And you would call up one of these as you would uh, an Uber. There you go, two. Two? So very thin, wow. skinny. So yeah, you call it up using the app and it, it somehow arrives you to your up. little place. Yeah, we'll pick you up and then see what it is. Look at all the traffic. Away. Oh, God, it looks like Los Angeles. Above that's not Israel. That's LA. That's downtown LA. 
So they're um, saying this is cheaper to build than a typical rail system or a typical highway right. system. This picture is interesting to me, the one with the, I love the hole in the building. So they just drop me off at work right next to the elevator. That's what I, that's my dream in life. I guess their point is that these are way smaller, they're quiet, they're safer. Very quiet, no pollution, there's you have no emission. You your iPad in there. Uh, very interesting sort of way to kind of go about travel. Uh, but this company, uh, the thing that I found very interesting about this particular company is that they're based uh, here. They are based here. In, in Mountain View. They're a California transit company named Skytran, and they are a NASA partner. So oh. these, these are a team of people, researchers, engineers, who know what they're doing. Like, these are people who are not just, like, random students getting together and saying, we have this lofty idea that, you know, we're not really sure it can happen. We want to try it. Like, this is going to get built and tested yeah. in Tel Aviv. It says 24 months from the start of construction. Two years. That's is short. projected for Q4 20. The first commercial system is going to open Q4 2016. That's soon. That's pretty soon. I feel like that's and really soon. This, I don't know about you, but this has always been my dream. Like, I love these this idea of this type of transportation. It's as close as we're going to get to the Jetsons. Right? Like, right? How that's cool sort of as this close be? as we get. And it sounds like it would be totally quiet. It'd be fast. Yeah. They say it can go up to 150 miles an hour. That smooth. would be, but I would not want to see a crash well, at 150 saying, miles an uh, hour. Well, I mean, real trains crash sometimes. Exactly, that's what I'm saying, so I wouldn't want to see. But, but these, then, these but then again, here's the thing, uh, and not to diminish the value of one or two human lives, like, oh, no, if don't one crashes, there. it's two people, it's oh, not 150 so people. So you're saying it's totally fine. But no, if one's going to crash... No, I'm saying it's just, it's less of a, it's, it's, it is less of a giant like accident like you know what i'm saying it's just like, two it's lives not, it's just two people it's, and of course that would be me and like my my dog what if it crashes <laughs> in that building that was that yeah, was yeah, going okay, through see, that's see the, there's that's collateral when it becomes damage a problem. that's when it becomes a problem so i still we love want this. tube i still want tube travel like in future you just get in a oh, tube and it just shoots you somewhere i thought you were talking about uh, elon musk's uh what is it called oh, yeah, the, the, hyper, hyperloop. the hyperloop i want that the hyperloop awesome. i don't know if that's ever going to happen though um and then our last story today is Pretty great. The 4th of July is coming up. If anybody's celebrating 4th of July, everybody loves Anybody. a good water gun fight. Come on. Everyone's celebrating the 4th of July. There's no question if you are. Well, no, but there's people who watch our show that don't live in America, oh, in the U.S. okay. So, well, you know, you should we celebrate. Can okay, listen, in Canada, you celebrated Canada Day earlier this week. So here you go. Another thing to celebrate this weekend. Okay. We should all just celebrate the existence of this water gun. The makers of Sugru, which is that, uh, that putty stuff that you can use, that is uh, waterproof. People use it to solder and fix things and add handles and stuff. They decided to get a little crazy when the summer started and they created this, which looks very dangerous, but is a water pistol, which is awesome. This I, looks like a lot of fun. I love this. I feel so much enthusiasm for this that it just made, like they, they put paint in it or like they, they watered some, down. Some kind of colored water. Yeah, which it's colorful water. I would like to see. It coloring in the water. It wouldn't have looked as good if no, they didn't no. do the colored water. Not. But it looks really water. fun. Amazing, I love so it. So this stuff basically is like Play-Doh, but then you can shape it. I never heard it's of this super, until today. Really? You you play with it and it turns hard after I've 30 minutes into like rubber. I've seen this on TV, yeah. It's like a, you, you can, it's very pliable until you set it and leave it alone. And then once it cures, it's like very strong stuff. But and it's, it's rubbery. It's like still yeah, a little bit it's malleable. It's a little malleable, yeah. But it but it fixes things. So it's it's almost like a super powered silly putty. Yeah, but it's and not it's for kids. Neat. It's not, no. you don't give this to your kid to play with. No, because they would eat it. But if yeah. they were older, maybe like 10 to 13, they could probably use it to like build some cool stuff. So that's, but Sugru made this gigantic, ridiculous, amazing water pistol, machine gun, as a Gatling gun. I would like to see, they use a CO2 canister to yeah. sort of power it, so that's pretty awesome. It's you like high-powered water, water fights. I want to see two people running after each other like that, just like they're in like Counter-Strike, just to shoot each other with water guns. How much is that gun? They are not producing I'm it, placing sadly. my order. They what? will not be, you can't oh, pre-order that one. Man. Sorry, Rich. Kickstarter? To, no, maybe, maybe Sugru will do a Kickstarter. Sugru, if you're listening, I think people would really enjoy. Put those plans up on, on uh, yeah, just put them like Google up. Cardboard. Like Google, just put exactly. The, put the plans up so people could DIY their own at home. I can just see that backfiring on me. Yeah. So I screw in the CO2 canister wrong, and then all of a sudden, just <laughs> yeah. right in my face. Uh, all right, we are going to take a very short break, 30 seconds to be exact. But before we do that, uh, we saw this video, and it has nothing to do with newsliness or no, with anything. anything. Just looked cool, we just and love it. it's been making the rounds on the internet. And this is a, a tree getting cut down into mulch in five seconds. Just kind of, kind of scary, honestly. I would not want to be underneath this. I would not want to be that tree. Is Don't what I'm get saying. near this device. Logan, roll the tape.
Oh, brings a whole new meaning to Bye Bye Birdie. All right, we're going to go on a 30-second break. Don't click away. It's Tomorrow Daily. Welcome back to Tomorrow Daily. We shaved down six trees in the time that you watched that ad. Pretty awesome. But it's all mulch now, so it's all being recycled. It's okay. Yeah, that's right. It's all going back into the earth. Uh, except for maybe any animals. Aww. I hope no animals were harmed. I truly hope no animals Circle were harmed. Circle of life. Uh, we're in the second half of the show. This time around today, uh, we're going to do Back It or Hack It. We've got a pretty good Kickstarter that we saw. We caught our eye this morning. It's got, a, got about a month left. And we've got some very interesting things to say about it. So this is the Pond Wireless Charger. And what this is, is it's a wireless charger for iOS and Android. It's a Qi charging. So it's uh, if you have that standard available, it automatically works. Like the two phones that have it. Like the two phones that have it. Android, of course. Uh, but where is it? Where is it? I don't see Wait, it. Where, oh, oh it's there it is right there. It's whoa, this beautiful I thought that was a beautiful piece of art. Dish. And you'll notice there's no cables coming out of it. And it's actually, and it's a totally encased battery, a very high. Uh, so it's got 10,000 milliamps. Yeah, 10,000 milliamp battery. Um, so this, you so a it's a charger charges. that you sort of charge. That you have to charge. Which a wireless I, charger I don't that, like that, char part. that charges wirelessly without the need of wires to charge it. But you need a case on your phone. You do. If you have an iPhone, uh, you definitely need a case. But they also have these little things that you attach. It's like almost like a dongle. Like they call it the stream, I think. Yeah, they have these little uh, little add-ons that you can attach that you can also use if you don't want to use uh, the other thing. Like which, for your iPad. So like honestly, you know, you plug it into here. That's what I would do. Yeah, here. you just pop it in the lightning yeah. port, and then you just take it off and leave it on the on the pond. That's yeah. that's what I would do. Um, so yeah, they say, oh, this stuff is so unsightly. Nobody wants to do this. But this, oh, look at how classy that looks. It looks so 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 very classy. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful device. I think that the Qi standard has never really taken off. No, not really. I've got really. it on my Nexus 5. I I've used my charger with it. I want to believe in this this yeah. standard. I think it would be great. but Or any wireless charging standard that's, like, really good. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, if it's not, if it's not built into the iPhone, it has a short life. Because nobody... Right. You know, a lot of us talk about how we don't like to have cases on our phones. Right. And this case is not an extra spare battery. It's literally a Qi case. But the neat thing is they made it look pretty good. It looks nice. It does look really pretty. And they actually have them in different uh, finishes on the back so you can match it to your pond if you so chose. Uh, but the one, here's my problem with it. Uh, this is supposed to deliver to backers in August. Yeah. Which how means is that possible? you use it for a month. And then there's a new iPhone. And yeah. and rumor has it we're going to be seeing, a, like, I mean, unless some crazy alternate universe starts yeah. happening, we're going to see a larger iPhone in September or October. So. And they're ditching Lightning now. Oh, is that the no, new rumor? I'm is that the kidding. new rumor? I was like, Rich, please. Now, don't can tell you me imagine this. after like just, one oh, year? Would they're revolt. like, no, they're, I'm just kidding. There's no, they wouldn't yeah, do that. Yeah, but, but they're going to make a bigger phone, which means your case won't work. So then yeah, do you yeah. then have to, you, now you have to buy another case from Pond. Uh, and you have to figure out how you're going to make that work. And then who knows how long it's going to take them to, to manufacture yeah. and prototype and manufacture a case for the iPhone 6. It's just a really kind of, that's a risky thing for me. Unless I say, uh, I say hack it. I'm going to say no for me. Like, no. Yeah, I'm not going to say no. Because I, I think it's 140 bucks yeah, at minimum. the base. But if you have a two year contract on your iPhone 5S or your Android device, I say maybe good. Then you can I, get it. If I, I, there's a couple of unanswered questions. First off, I read that it says full charging up to one amp. So I think that the iPad requires two for your charge. So if you want to actually charge it like in the normal time, it requires two. So you I think that's a little strange. Uh, yeah, 2.1. So, yeah. Um, and my second thing is, I would like to know if you can leave this plugged in because I don't really care. I have a table by my door that I don't mind if there's a little yeah, plug just coming have, like, out. Yeah, a little plug. I'm sure you probably I could. Would, but, but I don't know cause because it's a rechargeable to... battery though. So I'm a little concerned that it doesn't like. It can't charge while it's also giving off that charge. Yeah, I don't that's know. That's true. Maybe you have to unplug it for it to charge. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. know. Those are little questions I have. I'm sure I can get those answered if I email. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hack it right now. Sorry because, guys. Sorry pond. It's no. a real. It's gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's beautiful. Unbelievably beautiful, but just not right now. Maybe after the when the six when, when the, the six. iPhone six comes out. Yeah. That, that'll be. And what hopefully I do. there's that charging standard built in, but it won't be. Yeah. No. Probably not. No sorry. NFC. Sorry, no, maybe NFC. Have to use Who knows? Case. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, our very last thing we're going to do is, of course, user feedback, where we read all of your tweets and emails, and, and not all of them, because that would take forever, but we read some of your stuff, and then we also have our photographer of the day. Let's check out your TD emoji tweets, which honestly were probably the best thing in the universe to me. Uh, you guys sent a lot 
of uh, TD Emoji tweets about the Emojily social media network. So we're gonna try to decipher your tweets. So we have Chris Zibit, who sent us heart finger pointing or to the right and a camera. I love your show. I'm gonna say love your show, which we love you back. And then we have Green Hornet 51, who has <laughs> Apple eyes watch thumbs up, thumbs down. Hmm. Apple fear I, I watch. Oh, I love Apple products. No, I think it's oh, saying. I want the Apple Watch. Apple I watch thumbs up or thumbs, thumbs up. down. Okay. I think he's asking us how we feel. Okay. We have to see when it comes out. I, don't I know. say thumbs up. I say sight on scene. I say I'm cautiously optimistic. It's gonna be awesome. And then we have Eli Finn who sends us a face blushing, a face crying with laughter, a, a knife, knife, and fireworks. Ooh. So I'm gonna guess this means I'm shy, but I laughed at your show so much I cried, and then I stabbed a firework. Why would he stab a firework? I don't know. I Just, thought he was grilling and he was like butchering the meat for his fireworks. Oh, okay. For his All right. Cutting up barbecue. meat for the 4th of July BBQ. So someone asked me today, is an emoticon the same as an emoji? No, because emoticon is the text-based ones. So ah. it's, you know, an emoji is like a little actual, like they're little cartoons. Okay. So that's good to know. I think that's the difference for me. It is. But are all emoticons, emo vary. all emojis are emoticons. Yes. But not all emoticons are emojis. I don't know. I'm not an emoji expert. We should I call you were. somebody. Maybe there's a scientist. We need an emoji scientist. We need an emoji expert. Someone who you studies guys. emojis every day. Do we have any more? No, those are our three. And then and then we have our photographer of the day, which is Andrew S. And he sent us this lovely picture, which is so colorful. I love the sky. And he says, I love your guys' show. And I couldn't wait to send you my photography. I couldn't choose which photo to send you. So I sent two. These are both photos of Vallingby Central in Stockholm, Sweden, taken on my LG G2 D800. So this is on the LG G2, which has a very nice camera. Here's the full screen image. So gorgeous. Beautiful. Again, we don't have these colors in Los Angeles. Uh, again, we the need. The sky is brown. I love that we have so many international viewers, and now I feel I bad about the July Fourth comment because See? I'm thinking I'm so there's U.S. More, centric. Listen, there's a whole there's, world there's out there. There's more to the internet than America. Man, Rich. there's more to the I gotta internet get out than America. More often. Uh, yeah, this is gorgeous, and now it makes me. I just want to travel all the time. Yeah. Now. You guys' pictures is making me want to just get on a plane with a backpack and go around the world. The good news is, amazing. wherever we go, we have places to stay. That's true. Yeah, we can. Get, I am assuming we can both crash at your place. Yeah. That's all I'm saying, Andrew S. Uh, but gorgeous picture. Congrats, phone photographer for the day. It was really fantastic. We have, we get like at least a, a pretty, we get a wide variety of, fo of pictures every single day. So uh, we will do our best to get, we can't get to all of them. No. There's just no way. But we do enjoy them all. But we do, I do really truly enjoy them all, Rich. We both look at them and we both ooh and ah over all your great pictures. Uh, but on that note, it's time to close out the show. Oh, well, it's know, been it's fun. So sad. It has been fun. And we have um, one more tomorrow. So we that's have our. Good. We want to know what you think about the monorail. So our hashtag for the day is TD Monorail. We want to know how you feel. Would you ride it? Would you be scared? Uh, would you Would you want one in your hometown? Ooh. Would you, what would you, What else would you want it to do? Would you want it to take you somewhere? And then uh, you can also email us. You can email us your links to your photography. You can email us comments, questions, concerns tomorrow at cnet.com. And uh, you can always find us on social media. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We are hash. Or, uh, we are username tomorrow daily on all those places. Super easy to find us. Yeah. And if you want to find us individually, I'm Ashley Esqueda. And I'm Rich Demiro. And that's been Tomorrow Daily. Be good humans, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.